Hello everyone, um, nice to see you all again. So on my last video we went over changing the daily notes format from the, the format that Rome typically exports in, actually not typically, they definitely export in, um, to something that, to the format that um, Obsidian uh, respects. So this is how we got the 2020-01-22, for example, as opposed to January um, 21st, 2020, or like the, 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 the general syntax. So um, the syntax that, uh, that Rome exports in is like April, oops. April, let's say 19th, right, 2020. And then the one that Obsidian uses and that is better for sorting is this one. So these are the same things. So the first video we went over of how to change the actual file names to be converted from here to something like this. Now, what this script does that we wrote is actually it's going to go through every single file, find this pattern, right? So find the um, instances where we've referenced a, a specific date, and it's actually going to change, swap it out for, for this format. So when we, we change the file names, um, we didn't actually change, alter the contents of the markdown files, right? So the, the, our backlinks were broken. So for example, if I open up my, my Obsidian and I go to like a random note, I think, um, I think on the 14th of April, I had like a ton of references, um, maybe not a ton. Yeah, so like this one, April 16th, 2020, right? So this page is now this, or this is what I want it to be. You see how there's no backlinks though. Um, so what the, the, the purpose of this one is to, um, so what this script does is going to actually change this right here to, to be, um, what is it? 2020 04-14, right? So that way, when we go to the um, the April 14th page, for example, we'll have the backlinks and it'll be working correctly. Um, so to walk through that, what we're going to do is I'm going to start by opening up my, so I keep mine in Dropbox and I'm not sure how friendly Python is with uh, cloud folders. And also I don't want to mistakenly delete uh, all of my, I think I've got like 700 notes or something crazy like that. So I'm going to copy this. I'm actually just going to copy it and be, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how proper this is in the world of, uh, of everything, but I'm actually just going to copy this to my desktop. I'm going to have a separate folder and then I'm just going to do a full replace. Um, I'm going to replace my vault and put it back in Dropbox. That way I have a backup. So if I, the script where like royally screws things up, I can always just go back. So I definitely make make sure to, to make a make a copy. So I threw this on my desktop. So notice we have multiple folders. So it's going to go literally loop through everything. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a cache folder or something that I could probably delete. Um, but to make this a little bit more efficient, but let's, let's just go for it. So um, Essentially, all we have to do is to make this script work is to drop in the path name here. And then what is it? What this script does is it actually walks through that path, right? So we have multiple subfolders, right? So we have like, I have my Bailey's mine, and then I've got like my attachments folder, which obviously it's not going to change anything there. Um, it's got my articles, right? So it's like, it's going to loop through all of these and see if there's any daily note uh, or date references. Um, and it's going to change them to the proper format. So... It's going to walk through here and then it's going to open up each of those paths, right? So it's going to open up every single, uh, every single file, even within the subfolders. And then it's going to see if it's going to read the contents of it. And then it's going to, um, look for the, the date. So it's going to look for, that's what this regex does, or, um, it finds this, then that's declared right here. And then it's going to replace it. So that's where we do the re sub. Um, with, um, I wrote a, this Lambda function, which basically parses out, um, which is the date parser, kind of the same thing we use with the rename, um, and then splits it all in one line. And then um, essentially, it within the contents, it replaces everything. Um, and then this flag is just uh, basically saying it's a multi-line um, thing. And then it's going to open the file in write mode. So it's going to close it, right, because it's a with statement. And then it's going to open it in write mode. 
and then it's going to write to the file with the new content. So it's going to loop through every single file. So the only thing we have left to do is to find, is to drop the file path here. Um, so the easiest way to do that is to go to your new one that you just dropped into the, des the desktop, and then I'm going to open up terminal. And then all you do is just drag and drop here, and then now you can copy the files path. Probably it's probably maybe it's copied to my clipboard, and I'm going to include. I'm going to include the forward slash right here. So what this is going to do is it's going to go through, as soon as I hit play, it should loop through every single file on the desktop. Or sorry, on this file path. So let's see what happens. So remember um, the date we were kind of looking at, say 4, 413 as an example. So on 413, we should be seeing um, the dates being replaced. So 0 or 2020, 415. Um, so we can kind of go back and recheck 413 to make sure that this worked. And obviously there's a couple of instances on that date. So um, let's see what happens. Cool. So it says it's done. So now the, the last thing we have to do is let's open up 413. It's so, wow. Did good. So it definitely went through everything, that's for sure. So you can see all of this stuff is kind of updating in real time. Um, so let's see, 413. Uh, it's going to be in my daily notes. Open up the markdown file. So check it out. So before, remember we had those dates. It was kind of referencing, um, you know, multiple multiple dates now everything is in in the format we like I call this one a success so let me know if you guys have any questions um, remember um, the only thing you have to do I recommend is uh, putting it on making a copy and putting it on your desktop um, for just a temporary why so these things can run a little bit faster um, but yeah every single every single file should should be should have the correct dates and now now you have your backlinks. Um, so let's let's actually just open up and, and repoint to or replace our point to we'll we'll start with just pointing it to a new vault. So I'm just gonna say um, I'm just gonna rename this. Just say new just to make it different. And I'm just gonna open up in Dropbox. Right. I could have probably just pointed to it, honestly, but it'll it'll be fast. So this has all of our things. So now if we go to Obsidian and I drag my face, I point to a new vault. Let's see what happens. Open. So now let's go back to 413 and Obsidian, and then we can just see if we have the backlinks that we expect. Um, computer's going a little slow. So, daily notes. Let's go to 413. Everything looks okay for the most part. And now we have now we have the backlinks for that. So I consider this one a success. Let me know if you guys have any questions.